Yellowstone supervolcano, how the magma chamber has lifted the supervolcano upwards. This is what USGS reveals to us. The volcano is in the northwest section of Wyoming. It houses the monstrous magma chamber deep beneath the ground. It's heating up the supervolcano system, causing the ground to rise. The U.S. Geological Survey reveals to us Yellowstone supervolcano has had super eruptions at least three times in its lifetime, the most recent being around 640,000 years ago. The super eruptions were driven by volcanoes imposing magma chamber. It stretches from 3.1 miles to 10.5 miles below the ground. According to U.S. Geological Survey, the raw source of heat under Yellowstone, the mantle plume there, is uh, giving rise to the magma chambers. One of the reasons why the ground around the volcano is inflating, it's rising. And looking for ground uplift at Yellowstone is critical because it could be a telltale sign of an eruption brewing underneath the ground. USGS said because of the hot spot that lies beneath Yellowstone and that supplies the heat needed to generate this magma, the Yellowstone Plateau sits at a higher level than its surrounding areas. So in essence, the region is buoyed upwards by the heat beneath the surface. The ground around Yellowstone has also risen at the end of most recent glacial periods, dubbed the Pine Dale Glaciation. About 22,000 to 13,000 years ago, during the last ice age, the Yellowstone region was covered in a thick sheet of ice. And once all of this glacial ice melted, the release pressure on the supervolcano caused the ground to rise. USGS said, after melting of the ice, there was some uplift due to rebound. Basically, removal of the ice load caused the ground surface to buoy back up again. And this, is done, this has been done in a lot of other areas. And the volcanoes, of course, buoying back up again. Finally, support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box. This is actually still occurring in places like Greenland and Scandinavia, which were covered by epic ice sheets during the last major glaciation, but it stopped Yellowstone uh, thousands of years ago. Interestingly, there were no eruptions of magma after the Pine Dale glaciation, the geologists explain. Studies of glacier melting in Iceland suggest that unloading due ice removal uh, can cause melt formation in magma ascent, resulting in an increased number of volcanic eruptions. Another effect that contributes to the movement of ground at Yellowstone volcano is tectonic activity of the North American tectonic plate. Yellowstone Volcano is located in a hot spot of activity near North American Plate and the Pacific Plate along the coast of West America. And the plate drifts away to the southwest. The movement encourages the heat and molten rock to shoot upwards. Uplift and subsidence of a volcanic system like Yellowstone can go on for tens of thousands of years, hundreds of thousands of years before an eruption occurs, they said. When Mount St. Helens eruption in 1980, for instance, the volcano's northern flank peaked at about 2,000, uh, sorry, 262 feet. And in another case, however, a volcano like Long Valley Caldera in California has been rising at different points in the 1980s and 1990s without blowing. And is still inflating now. USGS said the Campi Flegri Caldera near Naples, that's near Vesuvius in Italy, had two episodes of uplift during 1970-72 and again in 1982-84. The coast of Pozzuoli with the caldera rose about 67 inches and then 72 inches out of the ocean during those two intervals. Each time, some substance followed the uplift, but no volcanic eruption has occurred. Thankfully, there's no sign suggesting Yellowstone will erupt again in the near future. The supervolcano last blew 640,000 years ago, 1.3 million years ago, 2.1 million years ago. 
and USGS explains there's no evidence that a catastrophic eruption at Yellowstone is imminent, and such events are unlikely to occur in the ne next few centuries. The supervolcano witnessed three major caldera forming eruptions on its volatile past. The eruptions were, uh, went off 640,000 years ago, 1.3 million, and 2.1 million years ago. The most recent blast, the Lava Creek eruption, formed Yellowstone's 34 miles by 45 miles caldera that we see today. Since then, there have been roughly 80 non-explosive eruptions. This is on Express UK by um, Sebastian Ketley. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.